We're asked to draw the image of the rectangle shown in red under the transformation matrix, matrix A. And there are two methods for doing this. One method would be to find the ordered pairs for the four vertices, which I've done here. Remember, we can think of vectors as ordered pairs, where the ordered pair would be the terminal point of the vector in a standard position. Once we have the four ordered pairs, we can find the transformation under matrix A by determining the product of matrix A and the points or corresponding vectors written as column matrices or two by one column matrices as we see here on the right. Notice the transformation of zero, zero is equal to zero, zero, which indicates under the transformation, the point of the origin does not change. The transformation of two, zero is equal to negative two, zero, which means the point two, zero after the transformation is the point negative two, zero on the left side of the y-axis. The transformation of zero, one is equal to zero, one, which indicates the point zero, one does not change under the transformation. And the transformation of two, one is equal to negative two, one, which means the point two, one after the transformation is the point negative two, one, again on the left of the y-axis here. Now we have the four vertices of the transformed rectangle. We can sketch the transformation. Notice the result is a rectangle reflected across the y-axis. Another approach would be to recognize that since we have the transformation matrix, the first column is the transformation of the vector E sub one of the vector one zero, and the second column is a transformation of the vector E sub two or the vector zero one. So let's go ahead and write this out. We know the transformation of the vector E sub one, which is a transformation of the vector one zero, is equal to negative one zero. And the transformation of the vector E sub two equals the transformation of the vector zero one, which is equal to the second column of zero one. If we plot the vector one zero, notice how it's half the length of the side along the positive x-axis. The transformation of this vector is the vector negative one zero, which is this unit vector along the negative x-axis. So notice how the length of the vector does not change, but it's in the opposite direction, which means the side of the red rectangle along the positive x-axis under the transformation will be in the opposite direction and still have a length of two units. So this would be the corresponding side to the red rectangle after the transformation. And now let's plot the vector zero, one. This would be the vector along the positive y-axis here. The transformation of this vector is the same vector zero, one, and therefore, which means this side of the rectangle does not change under the transformation. Now that we have the transformation of two of the four sides of the red rectangle, we can complete the rectangle knowing the opposite sides will be parallel. This blue rectangle is the transformation of the red rectangle under the transformation matrix A. So notice regardless of which method we take, of course we get the same transformed rectangle. I hope you found this helpful.